Okay guys, welcome back. Um, this video is just a kind of shorter video and it is in response to the video I made um, a few months back where I was having a problem with the Omnibus F4, um, I think it's the F4 V3 Pro flight controller and S bus. And basically the problem was is I wasn't actually able to get any reading on beta flight or beta flight um, of the receiver even though I was connecting to my transmitter. So today I'm going to run through and diagnose, help you diagnose the problems because um, sometimes it can be really frustrating and my um, solution was actually very simple and I can't believe I didn't actually think of it. Okay. So first we're going to want to have beta flight open. You want to have the most recent firmware um, for beta flight and actually I'll just go like this so you can kind of see what I'm doing as well as talking. So you have beta flight open and um, I'll bring up a little diagram of the F the F4 V3 Pro of the Omnibus and I'll show you what you have to do is you have to connect um, connect the ground, the voltage and the S bus. Now if you're running PPM or S bus there's this tiny little tab that I'll put up here and I'll put a little circle around and you have to solder the two joints between the side that you want, whether it be S bus or PPM, um, and those that will check which one that you want out of S bus and PPM. Now you want to plug in your board, and you want to have it read reading as well here. Um, I think my I need a plug-in battery. But what you want want to do is this is where I got stuck actually. So. You've got down here, hopefully that works. So you want to have Omnibus F4, and the you actually want to go down to Omnibus F4 SD is the one that you need for the V3 Pro. Um, so that's what you need, right? Because I was doing um, Omnibus F4, and I wasn't doing this one. So this is the one that you need um, to configure it. And once you do that, that is the problem that I had and that actually got everything working. So it was a fairly simple fix and then you can go into um, the receivers and receivers tab in Betaflight and you can lo load it up that way. Um, now maybe you weren't actually getting a read up, reading on your receiver and it wasn't connected. You need to make sure that you've bound your receiver um, to the to your controller, whether it be a Tyrannus or um, whatever it is, and you need to make sure that they're bound together. And what else? Also, just make sure that all the wires are um, intact and they're not, you know, broken or anything anywhere um, within the installation of the wire, because that can sometimes happen, um, and that will have a dodgy connection. Okay, so I've got my Tyrannus. Oh, I've got my Tyrannus here. Um, Welcome to OpenTX. Set up. I'm going to plug in. You should do this with props off, but I'm not configuring anything. Um, I'm just running through the process that I did. Go down to here. This is what you should have checked off. Now, some people have had the problem of having um, UART 1, even though you are connected to the supposed UART. Sorry. UART um, 1. It actually goes to the UART 6 um, in beta flight or that's what the one that works um, and yeah so that happened with me and I can also if you if that doesn't work you just um, want to make sure that you check for serial RX and just do kind of a trial and error system you want to go down to configuration um, and you want to check this receiver mode um, and the S bus and S bus down here. Make sure you check that. Receiver mode, and there we go. Um, you want to have your channel map up there, and yeah, that should be all good. I hope you found this video helpful. It was just a quick one, um, and I hope this resolved your issue um, with the Omnibus F4 V3 Pro. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.